All right, guys. So we learned something the other day on how to wash your clothes while you don't have a just washer. And uh, right now what I'm just doing, I'm pulling out an old tote that we had that was holding clothes. It's holding all these clothes up here in these bags. Uh, but we heard that you just take your dirty clothes, you throw it into the tote, throw some water, and your detergent stuff and then you stick it in the back of the truck or in your vehicle even in your trailer or wherever you're transporting and as you're driving it'll wash it when you at some point you stop you'll empty out the soapy water and you put in fresh water and you drive some more and then they're you know bouncing around cleans it and then after that you just wring it all out i guess and let it dry so we're going to be giving that a shot as you can see we sort of got Quite a bit of clothes stacked up that are dirty and <laughs> need to be washed. So we really hope this works. Might save it'll save us money from the laundry mat. Alright, Brittany's just throwing in the detergent and I got some water. We just went ahead and grabbed some water from the nearest lake. It's free water, why not? People wash their clothes in the lake way back before us. So I was just dumped out. Can hold it. Hold. Oh. How much water do you put in it? We're giving very vague directions. I feel like you should do some more. Yeah, I'll put some more in there. So, we just filled up with probably the last thing to have water. Just enough to submerge it, just like you'd see in the washing machine. Brittany already put the soap in there, she's just sort of working it in. Um, lesson that we would already did learn is if you're going to be putting in the back of your truck or the back of your trailer, you should probably put it back there before you put the water in. Because now we got to pick it up <laughs> and then walk all the way over to the truck and put it in the truck. Right, there she is she's in the back of the truck with tail bed uh we went ahead and just put a strap on it so it won't move too room won't move around too much and uh it's got enough room to swash around there we're about to head out to the gramps got the two extra water cans they're all filled up though so whenever we get there we can dump the soapy water replace it with the clean water and on the way back let it rinse itself out and then we'll dump that and dry them out it's pretty cool, we'll get a free wash out of this. Okay. There it is. All right, guys. Let's take a look how clean our clothes are. Oh, there they look pretty clean. Right. So now we're just gonna take this, we're gonna dump it in the shower. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna fill it back up with clean water to rinse it off. And then when we get back home, we'll empty that out. And then we'll have to hang them up to dry. You wanna help? I'm gonna need two hands. Okay. Four. So dump the water out and then put some clean water in there. So right now we're just putting some water back in there and we're gonna start rinsing it out. Once that gets in there, we're going to dump that water out and then put some fresh water in there again. And then put it back in our truck. Can I show them what you have? Mm -hmm. All right, so this is it. They're clean clothes yeah. now in clean water. Getting rinsed out. Um, just going to let it sit in here on our drive back home. And when we get back home, we'll drain these out, hang them up on the line. And we got a free little laundry just washed. Yep. Moment of truth. Do we have clean clothes in here for free? 
I mean, they look clean. Yeah, they look clean. Smell clean? Yeah, my underwear smells good. I feel weird though. That's because <laughs> they've been sitting in there for yeah. a good minute. So the story is we've spent too much time with our grandpa in what 12 hours? Not 12 hours. About nine hours. Nine hours. hours. So about <laughs> I'd say through two hours in a soapy conditioned water and then we refilled it when we we're there. Y'all saw. And then uh the rest of the time we've just been sitting in this water. Now we're just going to wring it out and we will place them on our dog runner. Which is over there. Oh, can't see. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. Right there. <laughs> so that'll be our clothesline for the night. And uh, yeah, I'd say actually it's not too bad. We got a free little laundry done. That's pretty cool. Yep. All from the back so, of the truck. Now we have to wring them out and then hang them on the clothesline. A little bit of work, but it's okay. Yeah. All in all, that pretty much wraps up this video. If uh, you are traveling and you're on a budget, this is definitely something to look forward to. Uh, it's going to help us out a lot more. I know we're going to be using it pretty much more often. I mean, it's free. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to spend a dollar for every load we have to do. Typically yeah. two, because you use the dollar to wash it, dollar to dry it. Yep. So. Well, there's one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drag a bucket closer. Thank you for watching, guys, and like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe, and that is how we did laundry today. Uh, yeah, you can see we got all our clothes hung up. Now we gotta let the good old moon dry her out. <laughs> that was sarcasm. They're gonna be dripping tonight, and then uh, we'll pick them up sometime tomorrow. Not too.